Flying this thing manually is about as easy as it gets. You're not regulating airspeed, uh, you're not regulating uh, pitch, you're telling the plane left, right, up, or down. Nothing on the left stick, a little bit on the right stick, if you want to steer it. Um, so, same thing in vertical flight, it's holding a GPS position for you, and it's holding altitude for you. So if you completely let go of the sticks manually in vertical flight, it's just going to sit at wherever, wherever it was hovering. It, it's got enough uh, battery to fly on station for an hour and a half. It can go one way up to almost 70 miles. And that just, if you think about quadcopters, they just don't have the time on station. They definitely don't have the distance to do that. So we could set up a mission to fly out a, a, a long linear inspection of power lines. We go almost 30 miles out and come back. Um, we'll be doing a fully autonomous mission. We'll be taking off here to the west. We'll be entering a couple of loiters so you guys can look at the gimbal. Um, and then we'll have a, an approach diagonally here, avoid the car, we'll land right on the pad. That's mission plan weather. Uh, we have pretty calm winds right now. Uh, looks like they tend to pick up here uh, closer to noon. So we'll keep that into consideration. Everybody here is uh, aware that it's fairly sunny here in Nevada, pretty dry. So if you guys need water, there's some water in, in, in the coolers there. Uh, for operational area, we are maintaining within that um, maneuvering boundary set by the airport. And once again, thank you so much to the airport for letting us uh, fly out here and host this event. Anything yeah, you guys so he's, he's a, a FAA 107 uh, UAS pilot. He's also a uh, 136 pilot. 141 commercial pilot. Yep. Yeah. So lots of pilot experience. Yep. Um, so Reno, so. Reno is like a you know bucket list destination for any any pilot. So this is pretty cool to be out here flying drones. So pretty excited about it. That's pretty much it. Uh, first question, what was significant about today? Today was special uh, because we were able to fly at the Reno Stead Airport, uh, which is pretty heavily trafficked, which was able to showcase the Sentero BB loss and the Cassia system in work. We were constantly getting avoidances as expected, and it, kind of, it really highlights uh, the work that our team has done with IRIS to garner BB loss waivers all across the country in a variety of areas. Are there any uh, future integrations or future sensors that you will be integrating into the aircraft? Yeah, so that's that's one of the things that's coming with the evolution of the Sentero BB Watch platform we have here. So Dylan's going to pick it up and show you here. We have a universal payload bay. We can fit virtually any payload that will fit into this footprint. So right now we have the Calibri 212 payload. It's a EOIR payload, so it has uh, RGB um, vision as well as infrared vision um, day and night. So. In this, in this payload bay, we're currently integrating a uh, LiDAR solution for fixed wing corridor mapping uh, using a LiDAR scanner. We have A7R3, a uh, very popular uh, payload for, for mapping. We also have the phase one camera integrated into this, this, uh, this aircraft. It's 100 megapixels. So to have, be able to have that in such a, such a small and efficient package is, is really something we like to showcase here at Census. To kind of go along with Andres there, so we talked about the ability to garner BB loss waivers, which that's vital to be able to scale your operations past the visual line of sight. Uh, but again, at the end of the day, all that matters is what data you're able to collect, and that's why we do have an entire team in Florida that is working on uh, novel payload integrations. So again, we have around 10 right now, and we're doing some pretty exciting new ones that we can't talk about yet. But again, at the end of the day, it's all about what data you're able to collect and flying BB loss is just what allows you to scale that data collection, which is again, that was what's exciting about today. Perfect, all right, thanks guys. Thank you.